Hey guys, I'm Luke. This is the Super Only Channel. In this video, I'm talking about crankshaft pulleys, OEM steel or billet aluminum. What are the pros and cons, and can one of them kind of fuck your engine up? Let's check it out. Okay, here are the two crank pulleys. Uh, here's a close-up of the first one. The first one's a VMS brand, lightweight crank pulley. It's pretty light. It's gray in color. It looks pretty badass. It's got room for two belts, so it'll run all of your accessories, like your alternator, your power steering, and your AC compressor. So, pretty cool looking crank pulley. Uh, I think I got that one for about 70 or 80 dollars. And then this sucker, which is heavy, quite a bit heavier, is the OEM steel. Uh, it's basically made of steel, but it's actually got, let me uh, grab this little sucker so you can show you, the outside is steel, the inside is steel, but there's a rubber band in here right around the perimeter that insulates the inside from the outside. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later as I go through the pros and cons. Let's talk about what the pros and cons are. Uh, the first one that jumps out is this one just looks fucking badass, I think. Uh, that's what caught my eye. I think that's what, uh, one of the main reasons people put, you know, aftermarket bill aluminum uh, pulleys on their engine is because it just looks fucking badass. And that's cool. I like my engine to look good. So that's the first thing I think this goes in the pros column for this one is this one just looks fucking sweet. And as a matter of fact, let's take a look at what it would look like on my engine. Check it out. So basically... See, this is my EJ20G motor and doesn't have a pulley on right now. So I'll go ahead and take this out. Line that up. And boom. Okay, that looks fucking dope. So I'd say it's going to make the engine look pretty fucking sweet. As far as looks, pretty plain, painted black. Doesn't get more plain than this. Uh, so as far as looks, I'd say the OEM one gets a thumbs down. Okay, I add the looks item. Second item to evaluate is the weight. This sucker is really, really light. Put on my pinky and lift it super easily. Uh, ultra lightweight. And what does the lightweight crank pulley mean? Basically, it, that allows your engine to spin up faster, that allows your turbo to spool up faster, and that allows you to get into boost sooner. So, it can translate into quicker accelerations. However, this sucker is heavy as a mofo. I mean it. He's got to be two or three times his weight. What does that mean? It doesn't allow your engine to spin up as freely like the light one did. But once your engine has a lot of RPMs and it has a lot of momentum and inertia built up, this allows that engine, when you shift gears from one gear to the next, it allows the engine to keep that inertial momentum and keep the RPMs up higher for that split second while you can shift from one gear up to the next gear. So in some ways, this allows you sometimes in some conditions to stay in your boost better when you're shifting up from one gear to the next gear. Okay, I added that second criteria, the weight. Light equals a quick spool up, heavy equals a good transition between gears. Now the third criteria I'm going to look at is the construction. Basically, these are constructed very well. However, it's made out of aluminum and aluminum is a lot softer material than steel. What I've learned from a lot of people out in the Subaru community is that these aluminum crankshaft pulleys can beat out the crankshaft keyway and basically make this pulley completely useless and it becomes a paperweight. So uh, I've heard from a lot of people in the Subaru community that that's a really common reason these fail and that's a major, major negative in my book. Um, I want a pulley that's gonna last a long time, the life of the engine for the most part. Okay, on the other hand, since these guys are made of steel, for one reason, um, these guys definitely last a lot longer and don't have near the same propensity for having that keyway bashed out and stripped. So in that sense, the OEM steel crankshaft pulley is much, much more durable than the aluminum billet pulleys. All right, I've added that third criteria, built out of aluminum so it has a weak keyway and built out of steel so it has a strong keyway. Now the fourth criteria is actually the most important and that's the design. The VMS crankshaft pulley was designed to be lightweight and good looking, and they've definitely accomplished that. However, for a Subaru engine, there's more to a crankshaft pulley than just being designed for lightweight and good looks. And that's where the OEM crankshaft pulleys come in. The OEM crankshaft pulleys are designed in a completely different way because they have a different purpose than those VMS crankshaft pulleys. These OEM crankshaft pulleys are not meant to balance the engine. The OEM crankshaft pulleys are meant to dampen the harmonics of the crankshaft. What I mean by that is, although a Subaru engine is neutrally balanced, at high RPMs, 
the length of the crankshaft in the Subaru engine causes that crankshaft to create harmonics in the crankshaft. And the designers of Subaru came up with this design that they put on the end of the crankshaft to dampen those harmonics at high RPM and help that crankshaft reduce the amount of flex that's taking place or partially neutralizing those harmonics. And it does that because of the design. These suckers have an inner steel component and then they have this rubber band going over the inner steel component and they have this outer steel component. And that rubber band allows these crankshaft pulleys to become a dampener and to dampen those harmonics in the crankshaft. So these guys are actually a dampener, not just a pulley. And that's what differentiates a Subaru OEM crankshaft pulley from an aftermarket crankshaft pulley. This doesn't really act like much of a dampener, especially with it being so light. This guy, because it's heavy, and because it has that rubber band, is able to dampen those harmonics at high RPM of that crankshaft. And when you dampen those harmonics of that crankshaft, and you lessen the flex that's taking place in that crankshaft as it's rotating at high RPM, what you do is you lessen the beating that's taking place in the bearings, and you preserve the bearings in your crankshaft. So you'll, you'll allow your crankshaft bearings to last much longer, and your engine to last much longer. An OEM crankshaft pulley can actually save your engine from damage compared to using one of these aftermarket crankshaft pulleys. And for that reason, I'm definitely going with one of these OEM crankshaft pulleys that are actually a dampener, not just a crankshaft pulley. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up there for today, guys. This has been a video on Subaru crankshaft pulleys. I hope it gave you some value. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'm Luke, this is the Subaru Only Channel. Please check us out on YouTube. Until next time, thank you so much. Talk to you later.